بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In this video we'll give an introduction to the notion of integration for functions of two variables The situation you will see that it is really similar to the situation of integration for functions of one variable and in fact we will follow the same the same path so in that case it is better to just recall how we started integration in math 102 there if you remember we, we started with the area problem so now i will i will recall the area problem for math 102 so in math 102 or calculus 2 the area problem we started with the area problem which states the following let y equals f of x be a positive and continuous function on the interval a a, a b close the interval a b find the area of the region below the graph of f and above the interval a b on the x axis so the area problem here we have we need to find the area of this region below the graph of f and above the interval a b in the solution of this problem we started by making an approximation approximating first the area of this of this region and what we did we divided the interval a b into n sub intervals of equal width so we have we divide the interval into n sub intervals the width of each we call that delta x and it is b minus a over over n the length of the interval b minus a over over the number of sub intervals after this after dividing the region into n sub intervals of equal width we try to approximate the area of each region by constructing a rectangle on each sub interval so when you take a typical rectangle a typical sub interval xi minus 1 and xi we approximate this sub region by a rectangle by taking an arbitrary point we call it xi star x i star we construct a rectangle with height f of x i star so this point is f of x i star then we construct a rectangle on this sub interval with this height so basically we just we close one just we close the rectangle in this in this manner so we take this rectangle to approximate the area of the original sub sub region what is the area of this rectangle? The area of this rectangle is just the height of, of x i star times the width, which is delta x, delta x. This is the area of this rectangle. And this will give me an approximation of the region, of the original region over the interval x i minus 1 and x i. We do the same thing on each sub interval. On each sub interval. So here again, I just construct a take x1 star and construct a rectangle, take x2 star and construct a rectangle, and etc. And the same thing here, take x i star and here also. Okay. So I con I construct rectangles on each sub interval. Find the area of each and add. When I add, I get the following. I get the following. summation. I equals 1 to 2n. So this is the sum of the areas of the rectangles. And this quantity, this quantity will give me an approximation of the area of the original region. How to make this approximation better and better? Basically, we take more and more sub-intervals more and more sub intervals or we say smaller and smaller sub sub intervals until really until or and we express this by taking by letting n by taking limit as n approaches infinity this means take more and more rectangles rectangle or sub intervals each of course the width getting smaller and smaller until it reaches zero when you take the limit in fact, we will cover the whole region, we'll cover the whole region, and this will give us the exact area, the exact area of the, of the region. This is how the area in math 
one or two or in calculus two was calculated it so it is a limit of a sum a limit of a sum this sum is called a Riemann sum a Riemann sum for the function when you take limit of a sum limit of a Riemann sum we give it a special notation a notation and the notation for this one is the following this is we take limit of a sum we write it as the integral sign of of x i star we write it as just of of x so just replace x i star with the x and of delta x we write it as d dx over the interval a a to, to d so a limit of a Riemann sum is written a as an integral of a function of one variable so this is this is the solution of the area problem so if the function is positive and continuous then the area of the region below the graph of f and above the interval is given by the integral of f of x dx from a to b then the next step in calculus 2 was really how to evaluate such integral how to evaluate such integral and we spend almost the whole or a great part of, of calculus too, on just how how to evaluate uh, integration of functions of one variable so this is briefly the area problem of calculus 2 having reviewed the area problem in calculus 2 we'll introduce now integration for functions of two variables Again, by introducing a geometric problem, we'll start with a geometric problem. And the geometric problem is called the volume of problem. So what is this volume of problem? The volume of problem here, we have is states the following. Let f of x, y, a function of two variables, be a positive and continuous function. On some region R in the x, y plane, Find the volume of the solid that lies below the graph of F and above the region R. So we have the graph of the function, we have some surface, and we have a region in the XY plane. A surface and a region. We need to find the volume of the solid between the surface and, and the region. So this is the volume, the volume of problem. We will tackle this problem in, exact, in, in exactly the same way we tackled the area problem. Basically, by approximation first, then making this approximation exact. So we start with the region R and we divide it into rectangles. So start with R. This is the region R here. Of course, it lies between, inside some rectangles, A, B, and C, D. So it lies between some rectangles. We'll divide the rectangles into smaller rectangles by taking vertical lines and horizontal horizontal lines. So this is the division of the region into, into small rectangles. In dividing the interval A B, we take it, we divide it into N, N subintervals of equal width. The width is B minus A over N and delta X. And the we divide the interval CD into M subintervals of equal width. The width will be delta Y, D minus C over, over M. Now we take a typical sub rectangle and we call it RIJ. RIJ. This, sub, this typical sub rectangle, the width is delta X and the length is delta, delta Y. We take arbitrary point, we call it XIJ star y i j star so this is an arbitrary point inside the rectangle what is the area of this rectangle the area we will call it delta a and it is delta x times delta y or delta y times delta delta x so this is the area of this typical rectangle now when we take a typical point arbitrary point or we call it a sample point inside the rectangle we try now to approximate to approximate the volume the volume above this rectangle and below the graph of f above this rectangle and below the graph of f and for this rectangle we approximate it by a box we construct a box over over this rectangle to approximate the volume below the graph of f 
So what is this box? Okay, so here, this is the box here. Taking arbitrary point, we'll find the corresponding point in the surface, which is f of x i star y i j star, the corresponding point, and we take this as the height, as the height of the box. So we construct a box with height f of x i star y j star. What is the volume of this box? The volume of this box is just the area of the, the height, which is off of x i off of x i j star y i j star times the area of the the area of the the area of the base of the box, the base of the box, which is a rectangle, and the area was calculated to be delta delta a delta delta a. So this will give us an approximation for the volume below the graph of F and above the region or above the rectangle RIG. Okay, we do the same thing over each sub rectangle in the region. And then we add, and then we add. Okay. So when you do the same thing and you add, we have here, since we have two indices I and J, we'll have two, two sigma or two sums. I and J. One for I and one for J. For the I, for the I, it goes from 1 to N. And for the J, it will go from 1 to M. 1 to M. This will give us, this will give us a, an approximation for the volume. The volume of all boxes below, below the graph, below the graph of this value will be an approximation. The, this value represents the volume of all of these boxes. And it will act, this, the sum will act as an approximation for the volume below the graph, below the graph of N. How to make this approximation better and better? Again, we take more and more subintervals on the x-axis and subintervals on the y-axis. Equivalently, we take more and more rectangles, more and more rectangles. Okay. And, in, and we write this, in that case, we just take limit as M and N approaches infinity. When we take more and more rectangles or more and more boxes, we let M and N approach infinity. This will give us the exact volume, the exact volume. The exact volume of the solid below the graph of F and above the region R. As in Math 102, this sum is also called a Riemann sum or a double Riemann sum. Double Riemann, Riemann sum. The limit of a double Riemann sum, we can write it as a double integral. As a double integral. So each sigma will give us an integral. So here's the notation for this, for the limit of a double sum. We write it as a double integral, double integral of the function f of x, y. So x, i, j star, y, i, j star becomes x and y. You notice the similarity with math 102. And delta a, we write it as d, d, a. Well, this is a double integral of a function, d, a, over the region over the region R. So here we write just sub R. So this is the, this is the, how we write the, vo or this is the answer of the volume. So the volume of the region below the graph of F and above R, where F is positive and continuous, will be given as a double integral of the function dA. Double integral of, of xy dA over, over, over R. So this is the, the solution of the volume of problem. The next step, of course, how to evaluate, how to evaluate this double integral. And the brief answer, well, it depends on R. It depends on R, okay. So how to evaluate, how to evaluate. The answer, it depends on R. It depends on R. 
and this will be discussed in the next in the next video Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this video, we continue our discussion about double integrals. And we'll concentrate in this part of this, of this video on the evaluation of the double integrals on rectangular regions. Uh, so before we start, let's just recall the volume problem. So just recall the volume of problem. So if you have a function of f of x, y, which is positive and continuous, positive and continuous function on a region R in the x, y plane. So you have a region and you have a function. And the volume of problem is to find the volume of the solid below the surface Z and above the region R. Finding the volume of this, of this solid. Uh, we to find the the answer we started with approximation by using rectangles and making the approximation better by taking limits and this gives uh, this gives this gives us the following the volume will be the limit as n and m approaches infinity double summation of, of xi yj delta a where delta a was the area of a small rectangle delta x times delta y or delta y times delta x this really, this is a double Riemann sum. So a limit of a Riemann sum is just, will give you an integral. So in this case, in this, in this situation, we have double integral because you have double Riemann sum. The function becomes of xy and delta a becomes dA. And dA, because delta a equals delta x delta y, dA will be dx dy or dy dx. So the volume of the solid is given in terms of a double integral, the function over, over the region R. Now the question arises, the, the natural equation is how to evaluate, how to evaluate this double, double integral. And the evaluation really depends on the, on setting up the limits of integration. What are the limits of integration? And how to set up the limit of integration. So the main question here, you have two things. How to set up, setting up the limits of integration. The limits of integration. This is the first point. And after setting up the limit of integration, how to evaluate, evaluating the double integral. Evaluation of the double integral. So you have to consider these two, two points. In fact, for the setting up the limits of integration, for this one, well, the question or the answer depends on R. It depends, it depends on R. It depends on the region R. We'll see what we mean by this one very soon. For the evaluation of the double integral, we'll see by the examples, or the, really the procedure is very simple. Uh, really, it just it is a matter of the usual integration of calculus of calculus two, and it will be clear by by an example that we will give very very soon. Okay. So really, the main question is about setting up the limits of integration, okay. and the answer well, it depends on R. And here we'll consider the simplest regions, the simplest region in the, in the plane. And the simplest regions in the plane are the rectangular regions. So here, when you have a rectangular region, as depicted here, so this is R. Okay. This is the simplest region in the, in the plane. The rectangular region R, usually we describe it in two ways. And by in set notation, it is the set of all points x, y, such that x, lies between A and B, any X lies between A and B. If we take any point X, Y, X lies between A and B, and Y lies between C and D. So this is X, and this is, this is Y. Okay. So any point X, Y in the rectangle, in the rectangular region, the X coordinate lies between A and B, and the Y coordinate lies between C and D. So this is, this is one, one way. 
The other way is just to take the x interval times the y interval. So the x interval of the region of the rectangular region is AB. So this is the x interval times or across the y interval, which is CCD. So this is another way to describe or to write uh, a rectangular region in, in mathematics. So these are the simplest regions, the simplest regions in the in the plane. Now, if the region, if the region is a rectangular region, how to set up the limits of integration? Well, setting up the limit of integration in this case is very is really very simple. It is described in this theorem. If f of x y is continuous in the rectangular region R A B cross C D, the x interval times the y interval, then double integral of the function R over R D A equals f of x y D A as was as was before it is either dx dy or dy dx so we have two two possibilities if you take dx dy then dx it will go to the first integral or the inner integral and dy will go with the outer integral so dx will go with the inner integral and dy will go with the outer integral if you choose dx here in the inner integral, the limits will be the x values, the x values, and they are from a to b. And dy will go, will correspond to the outer integral. And the possible, the interval for y or the possible values for y are from c to d, c to d. This is h difference. If we choose dy dx, dy dx, then dy will go with the inner integral also. And the limits of y, the possible values of y are c to d, the y interval, c to d. And dx will correspond to the outer integral, a to b. The possible values of x are a to b. So this is how to set up the limits of integration in case the region R is, the region R is a rectangular region. So, okay. so you notice here really the order of integration, dx, dy dy dx the order is not really important you will get the same the same value the same value so this is how to set up the limits of integration uh, in the case of a rectangular region well how, how about how to evaluate the double integral to evaluate the double integral really you start with the inner first you integrate the inner first with respect to x and then you integrate the outer. How to integrate the inner with respect to x? Just look at y as a constant and integrate with respect to x. In the second case, if you, if you decided to have dy dx, then you start evaluation, evaluation by integrating with respect to y. Evaluate the inner with respect to y. How? Look at x as a constant and integrate with respect to y. You get a result, then integrate the result with respect to with respect to it. So really, integration is not is not very is not difficult. Is it? And we really we really use the uh, techniques of integration of calculus of calculus. Too. So this is how to set up the limits of integration and evaluate also in the case of a rectangular region. Now let's illustrate how to evaluate double, a double integral of a rectangular region by an example. We have the following example. Evaluate double integral of 2xy plus y minus 1 dA over, over the ridge R, where R is the, ridge, is, is the rectangular region given by 0, 1 cross 0, 0, 2. Again, dA here, dA. We have two cases for dA. It is either dx, dy or dy dx. If the region R is a rectangular region, the order is not important. You can choose either, either one. So let's start with the first one. So you double integral over R to xy plus y minus 1 dA double integral to xy plus y minus 1. If I choose dx dy, dx dy, then dx will go to the inner integral and dy will go with the outer integral. 
For dx, what are the limits of x? They are the x interval 0 to 1, 0 to 1. So this is the inner integral. And for dy, for the outer integral, it goes with dy. So I choose the y limit of, or the y interval of y, 0 to 2. So this is how we set up the limit of integration. Now we evaluate. By, to evaluate, we start by evaluating the inner integral, i.e. evaluating with respect to x. And to evaluate with respect to x, I look at y as a constant. So look at y as a constant and integrate with respect to x. So here when you integrate, it becomes the following here. With respect to x, so this is x squared y plus y x, because y is a constant, minus 1, minus, minus x. From x equal to 0 to x equals 1. And this is 0 to 2 the outer with respect to dy. We leave them as, as they are. So you integrate with respect to x. This is how we integrate with respect to x. Now substitute. So this is when x equals y. When x equals 1, you get y plus y minus 1 minus, when x equals to 0, you get 0 plus 0 minus 0. So this is 0. So now I get the following. 0 to 2, 2y two minus 1 d dy d dy so this is the integral now you integrate with respect to y so this is just y squared minus y from 0 to 2 and this is 4 minus 2 minus minus 0 and this is this is 2 so this is how to evaluate now, what about if we choose dy dx? What will happen? Will we get the same answer or, or not? And let's see what will happen here. So now, if we choose dy dx, the other order of integration, so you have double integral, double integral of over r of 2xy, 2xy plus y minus 1. Now, dy dx, dy dx. So now we start with the inner integral. So this is 2xy, 2xy plus y minus 1 dy. The inner integral is with respect to y. So for the limits, I choose the values of y, which is 0 to 2. 0 and 2. Then dx for the outer, and they are 0 to, to 1. This is the setting up of the limits of integration. Now, evaluation, the evaluation, integrate with respect to y. Start by evaluating the inner integral. When you integrate with respect to y, I look at x as a constant. So this gives me x, y squared, plus half y squared, minus, minus y. Integrating with respect to, with respect to y. x is a constant. From y equals 0, to y equals 2. So now I substitute, I substitute the values of y in the, in the, uh, in the, in, in the value of the integration. For the outer, I leave it as it is. 0 to 1, and this is h d dx. Substitute 2 minus substitute h 0. So when you substitute 2, we get 4x, four 4x four plus 2 minus 2 minus when y equal to 0, I get 0. So this gives me 0 to 1 for x d dx. Now I evaluate with respect to x. This is just 2x squared from 0 to 1. And this is just 2, 1 minus 0. And this is, this is 2. And do you notice we get the same, the same, the same answer. So if the region is a rectangular region. Really, the order of integration is not important. You can integrate first with respect to x, then with respect to y, or first with respect to y, then with respect to x. In both cases, you will get the same, the same answer. We consider now the following problem. Evaluate the double integral of cosine x minus y dA over the region R, where R is the rectangular region, 0 by 2 times 0 by x interval and y interval. 
evaluation of our rectangular region. So here to set up the limit of integration solution here. Of course, dA is just dx dy dx dy, and it is also dy dy dx. If R is a rectangular region, really the order is not important. You can choose either either one. So here we'll choose just one. So we now just double integral of R cosine x minus y dA. It is double integral of cosine x minus y. The order is not important, so I will choose the first one, dx dy, dx dy. So dx go with the inner integral, and dy will go with the outer integral. For the inner integral with respect to x, dy, what are the limits of integral? I choose the x interval, 0 pi over 2, 0 pi over 2. And for the outer, with respect to y, I choose the y interval, 0 to pi. So this is the, if, that's it, uh, this is uh, the sitting above the limits of integration. Now we integrate, again we integrate first with the inner, we start by integrating the inner. So I need to integrate this one, so I leave the outer as is, 0 to pi dy. I integrate with respect to x, so y is constant. So what is the integral of cosine x minus y? Be sine x minus y. This is when you integrate with respect to x. I can check my, my uh, integration by differentiation. If I differentiate with respect to x, I get cosine x minus minus y. Now evaluate y x equal to 0 to x equals pi over 2. These are the limits, so I substitute here for x, so this becomes 0 to pi dy. When you substitute x equals pi over 2, you get sine pi over 2 minus y minus sine 0 minus minus y. I can simplify further, this becomes 0 to pi this is sine pi over 2 minus y sine minus y minus plus sine y plus sine y sine of minus y be minus sine y minus of minus would be plus sine y dy. Now we integrate with respect to y. So here really it is an integration of calculus to simple integration. For the first one, you can choose, you can use if you want, you substitution and you get cosine minus cosine pi over 2 minus y plus or minus cosine cosine y integral of sine minus cosine y from 0 to 2 pi, 0 to pi. Substitute, when you substitute you get the following at by, this is minus, minus, minus cosine, cosine, by over 2 minus by, this is minus by over 2, minus cosine by. So this is when we substitute by. Minus, you substitute y equal to 0, you get minus cosine, minus cosine, by over 2. Minus cosine zero, minus cosine zero. Now evaluate, this is just equal, cosine minus pi over two, this is zero, minus cosine by minus one, minus cosine by over two, zero, minus cosine zero, one. So this is just one plus one, and this will give us, will give us two. So this is the value of this integral. That's it. We consider now the following problem. Evaluate the double integral of the function x e power x y dA over the region R, where R is the rectangular region, 0, 2, cross 1, and 3. Again, the region is a rectangle, so dA 
or setting up the limits of integration is not difficult. dA you have either dx, dy, or dy, dx. You can choose either order, either order. Now, which ones do we need to start with? Well, if you start with if you start d with uh, dx, then dy. If I put in a dx and dy, so then I need to integrate this with respect to x. e power x times e power xy. To integrate this with respect to x, I have to use integration by part. If I choose dy dx, dy dx, if I integrate first with respect to y, then x is constant. So the integration is just a simple use of substitution. So dx dy, I have to use integration by part. dy dx, a simple use of substitution. You decide which one is easier. Okay. Here, of course, sub substitution is easier. So I will choose the other, the second order, because of the simplicity of the integral. So in this case, double integral here, integral for r, this is x e power x y d a. I choose to integrate first with respect to y because integration in this case is simpler. So this is integral x e power x y dy then dx. So this is the inner here. For the inner, the limits of integration, we have y interval 1, 2, 3, 1. 2, 3, and the outer dx, 0, 2, 2, 0, 2, 2. Now, integrate with respect to y, so when you integrate with respect to y, this is just a simple use substitution, this is e power x, y. You can check if you differentiate, I get e power x, y, then times x, because you differentiate with respect to y. From y equals 1 to y equals 3. The outer is left for a while and d dx. You substitute with the following 0 to 2 dx e power 3x minus e power x. Now you integrate a simple calculus to integral. So the integral here will be 1 third e power 3x minus e power x from 0 to 2. When you substitute, you get 1 third e power 6 minus e power 2 minus 1 third e power 0, 1 minus minus 1 which is just e power 1 third e power 6 minus e squared plus 2 over, over 3. So this is, this is the answer. Again, we can choose the first uh, order, dx, dy, but in that case you have to use integration by part. You can check that you will get the same, the same answer. Let's consider the following problem. Find the volume of the solid that lies under the paraboloid z equal to x square plus y square and above the rectangular region R 0, 2, cross 0, 3. So this is an application of a, uh, an application of a problem. It is a problem about uh, finding volumes of solids. So usually in this case, it is better just to draw a picture of the, of the solid. So let's do this. So we'll take the x, the space x, y, z, x, y, and z space, and the region, the rectangular region, the x, y plane, the x interval 0 to 2, so this is 0 and this is 2, and the y interval 0 and 3, so this is 0 and this is 3. So really we have the following, the following region. So this is the region R in the x, y plane, this is R. A rectangular region in the first, in the first uh, quadrant of the xy plane. And the paraboloid z equal to x squared plus y squared. The graph of the paraboloid will be something like this. So this is the paraboloid. So this is z. 
equals to x squared plus y squared. As you can see, it is the function is positive and continuous. So we need the solid below the surface and above the region. So everything below the surface, okay. below the paraboloid, and above above the region, above the region. So this is really the solid. Okay. So the solid is just lies in the first octant, in the first octant. Well, a positive and continuous region, uh, function over a region. So, by the volume of problem, the volume of problem is just given. The volume will be the double integral of the function. With the serve, the equation with the serve, which is 2x squared plus y squared dA over the region R, over the region R. This is using the volume, the volume of problems. Since the function is positive and continuous. Okay. Now, R is a rectangular region, so setting up the limits of integration is very simple. And dA will be dx dy or dy dx, which was either one. So here I will choose in a dx dy, so this becomes, really, let me write it here, so this is double integral of 2x squared plus y squared. So I will choose dx dy. The order here is not important because r is a rectangular region. For the inner integral, I choose the x limits. And it, the x limits comes from the x interval, 0 to 2. And the outer will go with dy. So I take this y interval, 0 to 3, 0 to 3. We evaluate the inner first, the inner integral. I integrate with respect to x. So you have, looking at y as a constant. So this is 2 over 3 x cubed plus y squared x. From x equals 0 to x equals 2. And this is 0 to 3. And this is dy. I leave the outer untouched. Substitute x equals 2, you get 8 over 3, x cubed, plus 2, sorry, 8, 8 over 3 only, plus 2, y squared. Minus, when I substitute x equal to 0, I get 0. So here I end up with 0 to 3, 8 over 3, plus 2, 2 y squared. So, and this is 16, sorry, this is 16, and this is also 16, okay. 2, 8 times 2, 16 over 3, okay, dy, dy, now just integrate with respect to y, this is 16 over 3, y plus 2 over 3, 2 over 3, y cube, y cube, from 0 to 3, from 0 to 3, Substitute, you get the following. At y equals 3, you get 16. Plus 9 over 3. Uh, 27 over 3, 9. 9 times 2, 18. Minus 0. So this is 30, 34. The answer is, or the volume is 30, 34. Let's consider the following problem. Find the volume of the solid that lies under the surface, z equals 1 minus x squared, and above the rectangular region R, 0, 1 by 0, 2. Again, a volume of problem, it is better just to try to draw a picture or draw the solid of the, of the, uh, of the problem. So we have the following, we have the following, x, y, z space, this is x, this is y and this is z. We have the region in the xy plane, which is 0, 1, 0, 2. So it is a rectangular region. So this is 0 and this is 1. And this is 0 and this is, this is 2. So this is the region here. This is the region R. This is the region R. A rectangular region in the xy plane. For the surface, z equals 1 minus x squared. Of course, the graph here, the graph is a cylinder, a cylinder. 
because one variable y is missing so it will be a cylinder how to graph this cylinder well in the z x plane in the x z plane on this one i graph this and it is just a parabola a parabola and here this is uh, this is one and this is the the parabola The parabola. So it is one minus x square. Z equal one minus x square. It is a parabola opening downward, passing through one, and also the x-intercept is one and minus one here. This is the x plane, but it is a cylinder. So I translate this along the missing axis, which is y. So here we just if you translate this along the missing axis, you get something like this. And also, I need the solid just lies in the first octant, so I do need to continue. Just so I'll just stop here. Okay. This is the solid, okay. so it is in the first octant, the first octant, and everything below the surface. And this is this is z equals one minus x equal. So it is like part of a cylinder. So this is this is the this is the the solid the graph of this. So it is the part of this in the first octant below the surface, below the cylinder, and above the rectangular region. By the volume problem, we have a formula: the function half z is positive and continuous over a region. So the volume is given by the volume problem. It is just the double integral of the function, which is one minus x squared dA over the region over the region r so this is the uh, the formula for the volume of this of this solid now we set up the limits of integration r is a rectangular region so da will be dx dy or dy dx the order is not important so you can choose either one so i will choose let me take uh, integ double integral of one minus x squared let me choose for example dy dx if you want dy dx or dx dy doesn't matter let me take dx dy as usual for the inner with respect to x with respect to x the limits of x 0 to 1 and for the outer the y interval 0 to 2 0 to 2 you integrate with respect to x. This is x minus one third x cubed from x equals zero to x equals one. This is zero to two dy dy. And this is zero to two. Substitute one minus one third. This becomes minus two over three. Minus zero. This is dy. Now integrate this becomes minus two over three y from zero to two, and this is sorry this is two over three sorry this is two over one minus one third two over three, so this is two over three two over three times two minus zero and this is four over four over three, so the volume of this problem is four over three. That's it. Okay.